Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, December 6. It's the second Sunday of Advent, and the sec uh, scripture for this service. Psalm 150, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 through 11, and a canticle from Isaiah, chapter 60, verses 1 through 3, and 18 and 19. And please join me in singing the third verse of Once He Came in Blessing by John Rowe. Thus, if you canst name him, not ashamed to claim him, but will trust him boldly, nor dost love him coldly, he will then receive you, heal you, and forgive you. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We praise you, God Most High. We praise you in your sanctuary. Psalm 150, and please recite it with me. We praise you, God Most High. We praise you in your sanctuary. We praise you in the firmament of your power. We praise you for your mighty deeds. We praise you according to your excellent greatness, with the sound of the trumpet, with the psaltery and the harp, with the timbrel and the dance. We praise you with stringed instruments and organs, upon the loud cymbals, upon the high-sounding cymbals. Everything that has breath praises you. We praise you, God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Most High will come like a thief in the night. When they say there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them, as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night and those who are drunk get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. 
Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's recite the canticle together. Arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Most High shines on you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Most High shall rise on you, and God's glory shall be seen on you. And the Gentiles shall come to your light, and rulers to the brightness of your rising. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, neither wasting nor destruction within your borders. But you shall call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. And the sun shall no more be your light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give its light. But God Most High shall be your everlasting light, and your God shall be your everlasting glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.